Okay, so for this, we're gonna start with a centered piece of clay that is roughly four inches wide. We're gonna find that spot where our finger doesn't move. We're gonna push down and add a little water. We're gonna push all the way down until we're close to a quarter of an inch down. We're gonna take our lost little needle tool, whatever that may be. So come out, we want at least a quarter of an inch. Mine's a little thin, so I'm gonna push back down. Clean that up. And we're gonna open. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna open, I don't wanna just pull my clay outward. I kinda wanna bring my finger backward back towards me. It's gonna create like a little bit of a, a cave under there. And I'm gonna lift up and open. All right. So I'm gonna take my sponge. And this rim is looking kind of yanky, so we're going to smooth that out and compress it down and hold. So I'm going to come in, slow my wheel speed down just a little bit, push in and un under, and lift up. So when I get to the top, my finger shouldn't, should still be at that same distance, right? If I'm squeezing and I'm coming up together, my walls are getting thinner as they go higher and we don't want that to happen. So we're gonna squeeze in just a little bit, lock in, we squeeze at the bottom. A lot of times we leave a lot of um, weight at the bottom and if we squeeze and lift up from there, that bottom chunk of clay will get incorporated into our wall pretty evenly. So this is going to be a little oil diffuser. So I'm gonna, it's okay if my walls are a little bit thicker. I don't want them too thin because there is gonna be a little bit of flame on the inside. And our clay is not flameware. Flameware is clay that can sit on top of your stove where the bottom of your pot, where it touches the, um, the burner or the hob, is actually hotter than the rim. And with that crazy amount of uh, temperature difference, it can cause your piece to shatter. That's why things like the oven, it's ambient heat. Everything's getting heated at the same time, so it's okay. Your microwave is the same situation, and so is your dishwasher. But our clay can't just go sit on an open flame. You can't throw like a casserole dish and put it on, the, on your grill and have the heat come up. Um, it can make them pop. But with a little tea, tea light candle, it's not enough heat to do that, but I still want to make sure that it's a little bit thicker so it holds the heat and um, not that it's super, super fine and thin. So I want the bottom here to kind of flare out a little. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing outward so then I can bring it back in a little. So my pressure is on the outside. I'm gonna bring it up and now the pressure on the inside is pushing outward so I can roll it over a little bit. So I get the uh, a kind of a nuclear power plant kind of shape. And roll, so I don't want to roll this too much, so I'm using my sponge underneath as structure, and I'm going to push into that sponge and just roll it out just a little bit 
so we can get it's because we're gonna have our top part sit right on in there make sure I get all the water out so my finishing sponge technically is not the best for scooping out water I like throwing with it but it doesn't absorb water so I use one of the little sponges in the sink one of our little cut up sponges to get the water out because it's a little bit more absorbent and then I'll smooth it out with the finishing sponge So I have a gift card that I've cut to make a little foot. So this one here has a little notch in it. I don't know if you can see it with the clay, but it goes in, there's a notch and it comes back out. So it'll kind of give a little, just a little indentation. And it lifts it up off the table. So when you have that little shadow under there, it gives you that false sense that it's a lot heavy or a lot lighter. It's called uh, it allows you to think it has visual visual weight or visual lightness. Which is I'm gonna off all of that extra sludge so this here it's not clay it's actually slip and just think of it as like thick water on the surface of your pot it'll still break it down and it'll cause it to dry uneven so you want to get all of that off as much as possible if you have texture on there you're not going to be able to scrape this off or if you want your finger marks and the finger lines and the throwing lines We'll just have to smooth it off and then just add those back. All right. So I'm going to smooth out that rim one more time. We're gonna know we know we want to throw a mug or throw a little mini bowl to sit on top just about three and a half or four and a half inches at the top we'll trim the bottom to fit inside the interior so let's go ahead and center get this off the bat we're gonna cut it off remember to keep your um, cut wire flat and taut and pull it to you slowly Get this one off so you can see there's a nice little curve to it and then we'll start to throw the bowl on the inside 